Let's, uh, one the die roll. Let's do it. I mean, this is what we're doing, right? Basic planes? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I am a fan of the basic planes in Mardu. I am a fan of the... Oh, yeah. Give me the moxin, baby. Give me the moxin. You ready for my ringleader, baby? He's coming for you. Mm. Mm. Look at this dude. He's fucking pissed. He's like, coming for ya. Oh, oh no. Oh no, Goblin Ringleader. You were supposed to make up from the card disadvantage of these Chrome Boxes. Oh no, Goblin Ringleader. Why have you forsaken me, Goblin Ringleader? What a tilt. What do we think? Do we think that was below average? I think that I feel like that was a below average rig leader. I don't think Kiki Cord's a very good deck in modern. I think all of the creature creature toolbox decks in modern are um are pretty medium. Do you know how you can tell a legacy deck probably isn't very good? Your opponent goes basic planes mother of runes and you go, oh crap, how do I win the game? If you if you have to ask yourself, how do I win the game after your opponent leads on mother of runes, you need to reevaluate your life decisions. I'm gonna attack here because if they activate mom, we get to kill her with the tar fire, so it's a free two points of damage. All right, Cranky, let's go. Let's go, Cranky. Crank up the jam. Crank up the crank up the crank up the jam. I'm used to seeing Mother of Roots being thankful for my buy. Exactly. Exactly. Oh no! Oh, we're so dead. We're so dead. We got a Tuck Tuck Scrapper, and we got a Pyrokinesis. Blood Moon's probably not very good here. Oh, Pithing Needle's probably good, right? Preemptive, thanks for playing this so I don't have to. God, Whirly Boy's pretty good here, huh? Early boy is pretty good here. Oh, Sudden Demise is great, right? Yeah. What am I cutting? Yeah, I guess Instigator doesn't line up well against what they're what they're what they're doing. I'm gonna board in two pithing needles. Oh, cut the sting scorcher. Yeah, that's that's good feed. Now nah, sting scorcher bounces. Sting scorcher bounces the batter skull germ, which is nice. Sting scorcher bouncing batter skull germ is a big deal. Multi. It is. It is multi four metal star chain whirler. I could see that argument. I actually don't hate that. Like, this isn't a go fast matchup. I actually really like that. Like, like Chrome Mox is more mana. So like that's 25, 26, 27 pieces of mana. So I think I'm actually trimming the Chrome Moxes seems good.
No, this is 60. I think this is fine. This is fine. 10k bits if you 5 vote. You'll get to keep your money in Aronix, don't worry. Oh! Oh, the last sub put us to 1800 points exactly, Twitch says. Did that, let me refresh my page. Is that real? Did we hit, did we hit another emote? 18 out of 1800. Hasn't rolled over, but it says 18 out of 18. Uh, yeah, this seems fine, right? Like, not super quick, but like, Charfire's pretty good here. Yeah, Goblin Emote. Yeah, we need to make a Smork Emote for Geoff at some point. I should let them get their thing first, but I kind of wanted to be lazy and auto pass. So we'll name Umazawa Shite with this. We're going to. Do I want a matron here? No, I should probably just matron and like get set up, right? They did grab sword, you're not wrong. What, which gobo do I want to get here? It's probably just chieftain, right? Yeah, if we bit the needle the sword, they can't equip it, but they need to like play it first. So I think it's fine to wait. I guess I could also, yeah, I'm just gonna get gem palm incinerator actually. Cause he kills stuff. I could get more ringleaders too. I kind of like getting gem palm. Although you could argue because I only have one goblet in play currently that possibly I should get a, another tar fire. Declan Scott, Jacob Jeffrey. I don't have socks on. You don't have socks on? Why don't you have socks? How is school today, boys? Hmm? Okay, so we get to kill Mother of Runes with the Jump Home Incinerator here, which is decent. They got a Batter Skull with that. And the Batter Skull... Actually, we can just, like, kill... We can just like pith, do we want a pithing needle? Look honey, a honey download. Hey worm, thanks for checking out honey. So do I want a pithing needle something here? I feel like I want a pithing needle the equipment, right? I really feel like I want a pithing needle the equipment. So I'm gonna go ahead and pithing needle. I'm gonna pithing needle sort of fire nice here. The people need to mark off their bingo squares. They need, they need to mark Declan off their bingo square. I guess they're pretty far off of Batter Skull if I name. Say hi, internet. Is it supposed to be Stoneforge Mystic here? What do we think? This is pretty close. Um, I was driving, so I didn't see any tweets. Oh yeah, I can just bounce the germ. Yeah, so Sword of Fire and Ice. Let's just name Sword of Fire and Ice. I think that's right. All right, I'm gonna help her take the kids upstairs really quick. Thank you. And then uh, I'll be back. I'll be back in a moment. So sorry, sorry, just quick break. We're gonna finish the rest of this league, okay? We're gonna bring your trains upstairs, okay? Come on. Here, let's bring these up. We're all going upstairs together, okay? Humanly, if Goblin Tribe unattended, <sighs> do you lead goblins to victory over over tiny white creatures? <sighs> mm. Mm. 
yes. Play more, more bad white creatures. Yes. Mm. Mm. White, white creatures have so many defenses. So many defenses. Geoff, uh. mm. Geoff, fake right with tar fire. Punch left with sting scourger. Yes, excellent. Yes, kill with fire. The tar fire. Uh. Left with Sting Squadger, Bounce Germ. Mm. Still can't attack. Too big, too big, White Creature. Mm. 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 Stupid White Creatures. Blink Trixies. Human, put, put pieces of needle on, on stupid sword and stone for mystic. Ruin game, stupid humans only lose games. Uh, come and quit, come and find better game that human not mess up. Stupid, stupid human. Uh, these are, these are my horde, my people. Uh, Lucky lead red angry people to victory. Uh, oh, dollar robots give Geoff money. Geoff likes shinies. Oh, 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 little Delver. Little Delver. Does Delver block? Block Lucky? Is Delver scared? Is Delver. Oh, Delver afraid of Lucky! Not let Lucky hit him! Scary Delver! Scary Delver! <laughs> ah, ah, Geoff! Geoff Smokeland! Geoff Smokeland! Mm. Oh, Geoff, Geoff Smok! Lucky, lucky Delver player of second land. Mm. Second Delver, too stupid Delver. Geoff never draw land when Geoff need to. Mm. Mm. Silly, silly blue mages and their, their instincts. Huh. Huh. Geoff, Geoff, your human coming. Huh. Geoff must hide. Human very angry with Geoff. Were we playing against Death in Texas? Did we keep a... I... <laughs> we were playing... It's been a long day. All right, maybe maybe this is... All right, sure. Force, um, pitch, stifle, shirt. Probably Team or Delver. Probably Team or Delver. We're dying to Delver. Okay, well, we were beating... We were going to beat the Death and Taxes player, right? So... Did we win the first match? We lost the first match. Um, okay. All right. Did, did Moto bug? 
Should I file for comp? Did the match, did it like jump matches on me? It was recording, right? Y'all saw? It's a bug. That, that makes sense. Okay. Okay, we got ghosted. I don't, I don't think ghosting means what you think it means. But I feel like, I feel like if it jumped matches on me, I should file for comp. Actual ghost. Oh, actual ghost. Got it. This house is kind of old. Restart the league. That's a brutal spell snare. If we hit another land, we could blood moon them and then the matron can find a tar fire to kill this. That's a big angry charmagwave. I think we're dead. I think we're dead. It's not a bug, it's a feature. I probably just shouldn't even show them this, honestly. Hank, <laughs> that which doesn't grow dies, and that which dies grows the timer grave. Uh, this is 10 out of 10 shells of the void matchup, right? What? What are we supposed to cut here? What do we think? Sting Scorger seems fine for like sending Tarmogoyf back from where it came from then blood booting them out. Tarfire, Gem Palm. Yeah, Gem Palm makes a lot of sense to cut actually because it's kind of slow and clunky. Can I trim one Tarfire just because like I'm planning to chalice them on one? I think so. I think that's fine. I think cutting the two Gem Palms on a Tarfire makes sense. Whirly Boy does kill Mongoose. They're not always going to have Threshold. So, I am by no means a Legacy Goblins expert. But I... So, I don't really know have a frame of reference like how close this list is to a stock Goblins list. Like, a few people have mentioned um, or have asked why for instance we're not playing uh Rishan import and i don't i don't have a good answer for that this is a viewer submitted deck list like most things so i think ley lines narrow cutting them off just their graveyard usually isn't good enough i think i just get rid of tarfire here yeah i'm gonna get rid of tarfire just in case they yeah, I'm going to get rid of the tar fire in case they kill the Warren Instigator so I have a backup. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That would have been absurd if that hit. Because if that hit on two, we would have gone Matron into Siege Gang Commander. Uh, we lost the first match to death in Texas. And we're currently down a game against Teamer Delver. God, that's brutal. Ugh. I mean, like, does Port magically get a lot better all of a sudden? Like, what sh I should have played the Aether Vial. The reason why I didn't is because I was talking and clicking at the same time. <sighs> Spell snare, okay. Yeah, they're playing Teamer Delver. So Spell Snare is their last card here. Attack with one of these makes a lot of sense to me. I'm gonna go Aether Vial, Aether Vial here. If I'd have played this two turns ago like I should have, we'd be much better off, obviously. Probably just conceding to a Tremor Goyf. Thanks, Moonscone. 
just try to be honest here about most things. I'm fairly transparent with everything that I do with regards to magic and other things. Stingscourger is actually an absurd draw here, and by that I mean I shouldn't have done that because I know they have a fucking spell snare in their hand, and I'm sliding out. Yep, that was a huge Punterino. One of these would have been on two if I wouldn't have fucked up. That was a pretty big mistake, like mistake into a second mistake. I've been leaving comments enabled on my ranting VOD, so I think a lot of them are like reasonable discussion points. I mostly don't enable comments on my other YouTube videos, one, because I don't want to moderate all of them, and two, I really don't want to deal with comments that are like people saying random stuff like, oh, you made a mistake here, and it's just like, well, I know I made the mistake, that's why we said it was a mistake. So this just gets Siege Gang Commander, right? And then I smash with both of these. Concede to a lightning bolt. That goblin right there. All right. Those tokens are great. I don't think I've seen those before. If you just subscribe today, it takes a little bit for the server to sync. I'll manually sync it right now, actually. So if you pull up your connections tab, you should see it momentarily here, hopefully. We need, a, we need a land or we need this not to flip. That might actually be lethal. I haven't counted. This is two, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, so they, ha they have to block here. They have to block or it's exactly lethal, right? No, am I one short? Yeah, I'm one short actually, I think. I should have counted. This is eight, 11. I am one short. I shouldn't have attacked with everything. I played this game really loose. Yep. I think that game was winnable with better play. So I should have... I should have left a goblin back there because that way they had to flip the Delver. Like, if they flipped the Delver, we were still dead regardless because we were at four. But, so I, I, I missed playing the Aether Vial out that one turn, which meant they got to Spell Snare my thing, which meant I wasn't able to bounce a Delver. And the sad part about Legacy Leagues is if we lose one more, we're done playing because they only have the high variant, high gambling legacy, high legacy, high, high gambling leagues for legacy. This is going to be my last league of the evening. We've been going for almost five hours today. I'll be back again tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Hopefully, we're going to start a rally here, run our way back. Well, I could use Siege Gang Commander to kill one of the Delvers. I could have used Siege Gang Commander to kill one of the Delvers. Yeah, but I didn't leave one back to block, so... Taiga. Taiga Expedition Map. Okay. Okay. You... You have my attention. Taiga Cloud Post? Warping Whale. Yep. It's not lands, it's some kind of cloud post deck. As Glimmer Post implies here.
You think Chalice decks become better or worse in the new format? I think it's probably about the same. I'd be surprised if they really get gained or lost too much. That's actually a pretty good draw because it means I get to go ahead and wasteland them here and I can still Chrome Mox out this Goblin Chieftain. I haven't checked Twitter in Ironix. Did you private message me? And the answer to your question is no, I do not actually. I just, I just responded to you. I pulled it up. So we're gonna punch here for four. Drop my matron here, hopefully. He played Matron and drop Siege Gang. Oh yeah, that's a lot better, right? That gets the Siege Gang into play this turn, and then I could I could Goblin Chief to next turn. So I'd only push one damage this turn, but then the following turn I would push a significant more amount of damage. Varvite, thanks for checking out Honey. Thanks for the support. I appreciate it. Do I want to just get another? I think I'm just gonna get a Ringleader here, actually. Since I since I've sequenced in this way. Cause like next turn I can cast the Ringleader. Yeah, I can Ringleader to refill. I do have the mattress that I'm shilling. So in general, I try to only accept sponsorships from things that I've used personally or Christy has used. So we know firsthand that they're they're a good product. It's the first time we've ever had a foam mattress before. I've always just had, you know, standard pillow top ones before. And I don't think we'll ever go back. It's quite, it's quite a difference. Jojo903, thanks for checking out, honey. Welcome. Glacial Chasm. This is, they don't take damage, right? Candelabra. So opponent is wealthy in paper. Thanks, Foxy. Let's grab these two things. Have you been a victim to Reanimator yet? No, but we lost to Teamer Delver. The goblins are going to smash because that's what they do. They don't know any better. They're just a byproduct of their upbringing. All they do is smash. They don't, they don't understand things like Glacial Chasm. They only understand smash. So what does Goblin beat? Sporktacular. Thank you for checking out, honey. Welcome. So far, all signs indicate to nothing as far as what Goblins beat. That's true. They do probably beat Miracles. What do you need? Oh, yep. Yeah. The Death and Taxes match was totally winnable. We got bugged out of the Death and Taxes match. For a second, I thought, no, she she actually needed my help that time. We do have a Settlers in the sideboard. Tell me she needed a jar open. No, she needed me to undress her. She needed me to un unzip the top of her dress so she could get out of it, change into actual clothes. Another month of sword training in the books. Thanks for the seven month free subscription, Worm. I appreciate it. I just really don't have anything going on here, right? I don't have anything useful to go get with this, right? Goblin Settlers in the sideboard. So I can't go get that. My wife always interrupts my gaming for that reason too. Hi, Tide. Are these people animals? Do they have no respect? Oh, geez, we have a bunch of copies of Blood Moon in our deck, too. Forgot about that. Forgot we have a bunch of copies of Blood Moon. I should cycle this gem bomb incinerator and try and Blood Moon them. So 
So they're going to stage the Glacial Chasm here and then decline the cumulative upkeep on this one. So Glacial Chasm requires them to pay two additional health every turn, but it uh, it prevents all damage that will be dealt to them while it's in play. So we really can't accomplish anything. Let's, uh, let's ensure that we're going to have plenty of goblins to deal lethal, though, here. Get the mob boss going. Smush. Goblins just like... They, don't, they just don't understand. Poor little green guys and gals. They just wanna, they just wanna smash, and this glacial chasm's got in their way. How does the opponent's deck win? I assume it casts some kind of giant monster. Nope, Deathrite Shaman and Gataxian Probe are banned as of this morning on Magic Online. Yeah, they probably have Emrakul. They probably have a few different win conditions. The goblins are unlocked, baby. They're coming for you. They're hangry. Ring that dinner bell. Ring the dinner bell, chat. The goblins are coming. The goblins are coming to town. Do -do -do -do. Nefrex with the $5 donation. Hey, chat, did you know you can subscribe with Twitch Prime for free? You can subscribe every 30 days to your favorite streamer for free. Just link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. Thanks for the $5 tip, Nephrix, and for the free, the free advertising. Got the old, the old thought not seer goblin lackey trigger. Uh, we are 0-2 in this league currently. Pyrokinesis and Tarfire seem really bad. Pithing Needle seems pretty good. Don't mind me refilling the cup. Thanks for the bit, Saw 3. Goblin Settler, obviously. Domes17 with that brand new Twitch Prime support. Thank you very much. There's a lot of great people making a lot of great stuff on Twitch right now. Thanks for supporting mine. Welcome. Oh, yeah, I guess this kills. What's it called? That's probably fine. Rooly Boy is probably not very useful. Sorry, sorry Rooly Boy. We're going to bench you. Don't say that about Whirly Boy. Is there not a, there is not a Kiki in R75. Does our tip usually play Kiki? Your favorite Hearthstone streamer was given $13,000 by Wizards of the Coast to help promote their product. Because that's what your advertising dollars are supposed to do. They're supposed to promote your game. Which I know is a weird concept to some people. But that's, that's the purpose of the promotional tour is to promote Magic the Gathering. You have to understand, this is a tier 7 deck and there's no common deck list. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Memost, with that brand new Twitch Prime, thank you for the support and welcome. Uh, 
Do you think beta draft is a good for format to promote to Magic to people outside the game? I don't think any format in Magic is going to be particularly easy to promote to people outside of the game. Do I think beta draft is a great choice? Nope, but I think M19 Limited is probably a bad choice too. You know, you know what I think is a good product to support support things? Hey, thanks for checking out Honey Maloney. How long have I been asleep? We just started promoting Honey. I think this is my second or third stream with them. Inkski, thank you very much for the brand new Twitch Prime support. Welcome. Let's get this Goblin lacking to play. Gosh, we drew Siege Gang Commander. That's so good. This hand's pretty good if they don't do something absurd on their third turn. They could, uh, they could Warping Whale me here, right? This one, I wanna put this one into play. This one, I wanna put this one into play. This one, I wanna put this one into play. This one, I wanna put this one into play. Right here, this one, this one, this one, right here. This one, right here. This guy, this guy's my favorite. Yeah, my favorite goblin. What other legacy decks did we play? We played uh, Teamer Delver. And we played uh, Tin Fin's Dark Tin Fin Dark Depths mashup, and we played. Gosh, what was the other one we played? We played Tin Fin Dark Depths. I'm blanking on the first one. Oh, we played the we played the Blazing Shoal Infect deck again. Shoal Intel. Yep, that's the one. That's the winner. No, I don't want a needle map because their Cloud Post makes two mana, so they'll just map in response to the needle. So I'd rather just like get Warren Instigator into play so I can beat them down. Next turn we'll go Caracas Blood Moon. And then the Instigator will hit with First Strike and put Goblin King into play. And then everything else will hit for a buck ton. Lebelek with the $5 donation. Thank you for the tip. On June 18th, your life will change forever, Kappa. <laughs> Slow poke. Thanks, Lebelek. They're taking my Warren Instigator out. This is probably good for us. Oh, Arena. Magic Arena is the best way to help promote people outside of the game. Magic, Magic's a really complicated game, and having it be automated and be taught to people via the computer is the best way to do it. Like, not close. Are we going to win a match in the back of Blood Moon? The Shoal deck felt reasonable again. I liked it a lot. This is such a combo chat. We're going to give them mountains, and then we're going to give our guys mountain walk. 10 out of 10, we'll put it towards Tribal Zoo Lib. Thanks for the support. Don't pyroclasm me, bro. Don't pyroclasm me, bro. They actually did yet? Deal damage to you. Throw that guy. Blue, red, standstill goblins. All right, chip. I feel like we're moving on up here. While we're waiting for the fourth match, I'd just like to thank everyone for hanging out. Thank you very much to all the very generous subscribers. Uh, we broke 1,800 sub points this evening, which is kind of absurd. If by some means we manage to make our way to 2,000 before the end of the year, we'll have to do something big and special here on stream. I need to figure out what that is. Maybe I'll finally dig out my box of play mats and mail some of them out to people as giveaways. Older devs have said mountain walk combos were the actual intentional blood mood. That's really funny. Uh, if you're enjoying my stuff, please consider subscribing like many wonderful people have done today or checking out some of my great sponsors. Uh, Cardsphere.com will love to help you turn some of your cards into other cards or cash directly to other players. There's no haggling. They just take a 1% fee off the top. Inkgaming.com would love to help you customize your gaming experience using code JEFF12. You can save 12% on custom playmats, mouse pads, binders, and bags there. CoolStuffInc.com buys and sells a lot of cool stuff, including TCG singles using promo code JEFF5. You can save 5% on Magic, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh cards with them. And of course, this stream wouldn't be possible without viewers like Anironix, Justin Nivik, and all y'all out there. Thanks for hanging out today, folks. Remember, if you are new, make sure to follow the stream. You get notifications of when I go live and with what. And also be sure to check out 
check out my YouTube channel. All of my stuff gets archived there. So if you miss any of the action here, you can always catch up later there. I can't keep this hand. Yeah, signing signing and sending out some of the things could be could be a good idea, I think. We're gonna bottom that. This hand just needs one more land and then it gets to turn two Blood Moon. Like if we run off a couple of lands here, we get to like turn two Blood Moon, turn three Goblin Ringleader potentially. Or we could have a Geoff League when we reach that. Geoff League, yeah, yeah, that's something. All right, concession blood moon, concession blood moon, concession blood moon. Oh man, big mean blue bullies and your force wills and your tarmogoids and your Dover and secrets. <laughs> Anironix gifted a tier three sub to Crater Dumb. Well, you're absurd, Anironix. Crater Dumb, drop me a line to coordinate what you'd like your tier three sub deck to be. Remember, while the queue is on temporary hiatus, I am still accepting subs from... I am still accepting subscriptions from tier 3 subscribers. Ugh, second force of will. They pitched another spell pierce. They could still be sneak and show. Barbaric KM, thanks for checking out, honey. Welcome. They are not playing Delver. Interesting. Just Sky, Just Sky Blade? I'm probably supposed to keep that. We're, we're pretty dead here. Let's get to the postboard game. I don't think I want Chalice of the Void against Stoneforge Mystic. I, I probably want these Pithing Needles. I definitely want Tuk Tuk Scrapper. Tarfire seems fine. Smug Fake, thanks for checking out, honey. Nah, I haven't really played local local paper magic anymore. It's it's tough to get out of the house when you have kids. Like, if I if I do have time to go out, usually Christy and I spend time together. And I really enjoy playing magic here here with you all. <laughs> Trying to get Jeff to two K sub points. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Anner. We'll get there at some point naturally, I'm sure. What are we? What else do I want to cut here? Yeah, Whirly Boy's probably weak. I like that. I need two more cuts. I'm gonna go ahead and trim Chrome Moxes again. Because I think this is probably a matchup we're interested in going longer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If I was gonna take a night to go play FNM, I'd rather just stream. I'm like, if I really wanted to play a particular deck, I could just like play that deck instead of instead of doing donation decks. This hand is probably too slow. This hand is not good, but I think it's a keep. I'll take a mob boy. It's hard to pass up turn one vial on the play. King of Hoglandia, thanks for the salty bits. Get a webcam and stream F and M. Paper magic content's just like not not great content. It's harder to follow the magic online, and there's less of it in a longer amount of time. Like in the in the amount of time it takes to play one round of paper magic, I can usually play an entire league, depending on the deck. In two rounds, I can definitely play an entire league. As someone who's done paper magic content before, it is a lot of work for not a lot of return. This is this is much better. Magic Online might not be beautiful, but it's super functional and convenient. The, the shit talking was a good time. You're not wrong. Oh, Maddie. I'm looking forward to going to Indy with Maddie. That should be a fun trip. Indy Open should be a good time. We decided to be adults and just like drive the two of us instead of like trying to find other people to go with. They forced a Rossum. Sweet. See you, Indy. 
Do they have a way to destroy this? Did I figure out what deck? No, not yet. We get M19 cards and Magic Online tomorrow. So we'll be hopefully be able to help figure that out then. I don't think I want to shove Ringleader into play here. Although maybe I just need to because I can't race the Sword of Fire and Ice. There were, there were some years in the past five years where I, I, I think I, I, I felt like I shared a bed with Matt more than Christy. <laughs> we, we've traveled so much. It's nice being home now. It's nice being home. Nice. Yeah, Vegas should be fun too. We're going to be doing that in November for sure. Goblins has felt really medium minus. Believe it or not, I'm going to go out on a limb here and imply that maybe Death Rite Shaman wasn't the thing holding this deck back. Oh, baby. Oh, they're just Sky Delver. That's interesting. Okay, and they're missing their white source, so maybe we're going to have time to scrape back into this. I think I'm just going to grab Warren Instigator here. Oh, well, I guess that's not very good. Well, I can grab Incinerator and kill this Delver. That's the that's the line. That's the line. The, the Warren Instigator is not going to be able to attack through the Stoneforge Mystic, so it's not very good. But kill your thing. Draw a card. Now, there's, there's some good old Goblin Boy Grind right there. Goblin Girl Grind. The Matron is definitely a Mama Goblin. There's their white source. Need to tick this up. Yeah, Kinkle, they banned Death Rite Shaman. Good evening. Catching us right at the tail end here. Death Rite and uh, Gataxian Probe both got the boot. All right, well, I don't really have a choice. Let's do this. They have a Batter Skull here where just this is a concession attack, but I think we have to make them have it. Dork. Doc. Ugh. The King of Hoaglandia gifted a tier 3 sub. <laughs> you guys slay me. Maybe this Cranko can pull us back in here? I think it's pretty bad, Serp. Mark with the brand new tier 3 sub. Y'all are absurd. Thank you for the support. New tier three subs, be sure you drop me a message in private and coordinate what you'd like your donation deck for the month to be. Or if there's something in the queue that you already like, you can drop me a message. Yeah, we are, are very done. They're, they're gonna play and equip a sort of fire and ice next turn. I'm adding decks to the queue for only $24 during the freeze. We're, we're one in three. I think we could have beaten the Teamer Delver player that we played with better play, especially in game two, but the rest of those, I feel like we just got, we got, we got bodied by Stoneforge Mystic. Like that card is so good against these creature decks, like the batter still, the Umazao is GTA especially, just like GTA just kind of gobbles up these decks. Short of Fire and Ice is really good against us too, but just all of it comes together. And just multiple pieces of equipment in these games is just not something this deck can really deal with consistently. Um, I don't know if I have good feedback on this. This deck just felt kind of slow and clunky. And I think, I think if we, if you're not beating decks like Teamer, Delver, Death and Taxes, and Just Kai Stoneblade with this deck by a significant margin, this deck is certainly going to struggle against the faster, more degenerate things in modern, which means if you're not beating the fair things, the things you should be beating consistently and easily, you should probably, you should probably reassess and reconsider like, is your deck good enough if it can't win its good matchup consistently and it's got rough bad matchups as well? 
Yes, definitely, Mark. 10 out of 10 will do. Always happy to run that one back. All right, I'm gonna go ahead. I am happy to host you on Ironics. Are you live?